Greatest Tension Productions. and today I'd like to talk to you about electronic music. We're going to use something called a synthesizer. This is the Radiophonic One from STG Sound Labs. As you can hear, it sounds f***ing gnarly and it certainly made my tallywhacker wobble like a frankfurter in a wind tunnel, which is why I only recommend doing this in the privacy of your own home. Let's take a look. On the top left, we have the dot which is a buffered attenuator multiple. The active attenuator is normaled to the multiple below, although this can be defeated and they can be used discreetly. I like to be used discreetly too. Next to that, we have our voltage control oscillator with sawtooth, triangle and square sub-octave. There's a digitally controlled drift generator and a selection from subsonic through to wide. Imagine, if you will, having the range of both Freddie Mercury and Mariah Carey combined. Actually, why didn't they call that mode Freddie Mercury? Next to that, we have a cheeky little multiple. I see you there, mate. And then we have our dot slook, which is a... What, mate? Dot slice. Right? Well, there's no need to be like that. I'm just reading what it says. Why don't I spell my name dot PTR, do I? Philip, I've had enough of your shit. This module has two inputs, A and B, into which you can feed either audio or control signals. The window input is used to control the rate at which we slice or switch between inputs A and B. And there is an adjustable slice point that can be modulated. There are then two outputs, one for slicing and one for switching. So what could you do with that? Well, you could send two oscillators to it, one being sequenced and one that is holding a static pitch, control the switching from the envelope, and use another oscillator to modulate the slice point in the audio range. And... send two samples to the input, some chords and a drum beat, and play around with simultaneously slicing and switching. Thank you. 
Next up, we have a three-channel mixer that can handle both audio and control signals. If you're using control signals, you have control over the polarity at the bottom. As an audio mixer at higher levels, it will overdrive much like that used on a common or garden Moog CP3. Next to that, we have our Sea Devils filter, which is an 18 dB per octave low-pass filter utilizing a diode ladder design. Next, we have this monstrosity that handles more envelopes than the postal service. It outputs two at a time under three main models, ADSR, trapezoid, or pyramid blaster. Each stage can be modulated. And there is a gate out for each stage as well as two main envelope outputs. Throw in run and time modes and curve control. And ladies and gents, boys and girls, this is the world's most advanced envelope generator. Well, I'm just reading what it says in the press release, Philip. No, I've not played every envelope in the world, have you? Look, I've had enough of your lip, Phil, lip. At the end, we have a dual VCA, two outputs getting along swimmingly. Unlike me and Philip. Let's listen to some envelopes with some simple sequences. more curves than Marilyn Monroe. So there we go, a little look at the Radiophonic One synthesizer. Uh, I got mine from Woolworths, uh, you can get them from your local supermarket or any haberdashery. Uh, I hope you enjoyed coming along on this little ride. Uh, I certainly enjoyed hanging out with you all. Apart from Philip, that guy's an absolute wank! Extension Productions.